Hello, lovelies, and welcome back. Um, today we're going to do a deep clean, and I'm sorry it looks like um, we're jumping right into it because some footage was lost of me um, unloading and reloading the dishwasher and cleaning the dishwasher and so forth. So it started out showing you um, what I used to clean the, the dishwasher and any stainless steel I have which is citrus shine and I recommend this repeatedly because this this it leaves no streaks it's just wonderful so we're gonna go ahead and get into this cleaning video and again I apologize of the lost footage um, I'll try to do better next time I'm, I'm not you know we all have this lost footage things I've noticed and you know sometimes it happens so bear with me and my kitchen is really tiny so I'm sorry that everything is close up I I had other angles for you and it just didn't work out this time so I do apologize and we'll keep working on it until it's perfected If you watched any of my videos for any length of time, you already know that I love using a pumice stone. And I use these for anything as far as the stovetop, the oven, anything porcelain. It's just a godsend. And the trick is to keep it wet. Make sure it's wet at all times and it will not scratch your surface. All you have to do is glide it over the mess and um, the caked on grime or what have you and just glide it over there's no need to rub or or scrub really hard you don't have to do that the stone will do all the work for you and I love using these you can get these pumice stones from Amazon from Walmart from Home Depot make sure to take a look and see if you can find a pumice stone and try it out for yourself you will be amazed And as you can see, my stove was a complete mess. I've been slacking and lacking on this, um, on, on cleaning in general for actually the last week because October has just been such a hard, hard month for us. We've had so many downfalls. My mom has had surgery. Um, she had to have retina repair surgery for her eye. And it just gave us so many drawbacks so many drawbacks so I was lacking and slacking all through the house so it was really time to to get my house in order 
and get everything done and <clears throat> while it's getting done I just feel so much better so much more relief that way I, we can go ahead and start out November on a good note my floors were such a mess I had to get deep into the corners of, of this room because I mean you know if in the kitchen everything is a mess anyway because you have crumbs and everything else but <clears throat> I love using Dollar Tree brooms for especially the kitchen for the simple fact is they're really soft and they will get deep in the corners deep underneath something they bend really easily so the the bristles just grab everything so it, it made it really easy and now after I was done sweeping it was such a mess on, on the floors my floors were so nasty so I decided to pull out the steam cleaner and really give them a good scrub that really helped a lot and in, in my steam cleaner I usually put a mixture of vinegar and water and that that really did the trick it everything was nice and clean and as you can see it is a wood floor and this is a very old house it's over a hundred years old and you're gonna see lots of imperfections and so forth in the floor but the floor is actually very clean now actually when we moved in the floors were like a black and white tile just you know the the old-fashioned asbestos tiles and <clears throat> I actually pulled all those up and um, I had a heck of a time getting all the glue and all that kind of stuff off of these beautiful floors so after I was done I, I um, stained them and uh, polyurethane them so yeah this is the end result so I don't have those black and white tile floors anymore which were so ugly Heading into the dining room on, on my catch-all couch. And I'm really thinking about getting rid of this couch, but me and my husband are kind of going back and forth. He doesn't want me to get rid of it, um, especially for extra seating for holidays and so forth. But it just takes up so much space, and it's just a catch-all for everything, especially laundry. So right now I'm just concentrating on folding my microfiber rags. And as you can see, I have... I have a million of them <laughs> but yeah and um, if you're wondering my favorite place to get microfiber rags which you'll probably be surprised is the automobile section of Walmart you can get a 30 pack for nine dollars and ninety five cents and those are the best rags that I have ever come across that they even outdo the Norwax I really I really don't care for them I, I always use the Walmart auto rags and they are wonderful they will shine stainless steel they will clean any surface um, they're always soft and that they're just and I can't say enough about them I rather buy the Walmart rags instead of Norwax any day of the week again just another dilemma my battery died so 
um, I did everything off of camera so after putting the things away um, this is what my dining room was left with and I'll just give you a quick go through so that you can see the end result that I finished um, off camera and again thank you for watching and please subscribe and hit that bell have a good night